Hey guys, it's Jason from the Dental Cleaner Care Channel. Today I've got a client that has a water pressure issue, and I just want to show you the way that I troubleshot it super quick to find out where the issue was. So the issue manifests with the air water syringe. So when you go to press the button, what happens is we get an initial spurt, and then it completely stops. So this is what happens when you have a clog in your system. You have basically high pressure that equalizes across a clog. And then what happens is when you push the button on or you run your system, the water pressure decreases on the side of the clog um, and then it drips and then the water will re-equalize. So in this situation, we've got here a gauge that actually gives us an indication of what the water pressure is for their water syringe. So when I push the button, you can watch the gauge. The gauge actually goes down. And that's a really good example of how water pressure will equalize across a clog. So it'll build back up slowly, okay? And when I push the button, okay? So that tells me that um, the, the clog is basically, um, this is affected by the clog, and as luck would have it, right here is a filter. Now this filter is, here's a valve, this is where the water comes in. This is a shutoff valve that turns the water on and off. Then the water pressure will come through here and actually come through here and then to here. So I think I've seen this one before and this is likely where the problem is. What is inside of here is a filter and an O-ring. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace those two and um, that'll be what I believe will fix this problem. So step one of doing this repair is to go ahead and turn off the water. Now, in a dental unit like this, there, the, whichever, wherever this is hooked to, there's going to be a valve, and I'm going to turn that valve off. So I'm going to turn the valve off here. All right, and that's going to turn off there. So now when I push this button, um, what's going to happen is the pressure is going to go down, and it's not going to come back. Okay? All right? Shouldn't come back. All right, so there we go. So step one, whenever you work on a water system, is make sure that you can't get any water out. That tells us it's depressurized. So now step two is going to be, I'm going to take these pliers here, and I'm going to go ahead and grab onto this right here and turn it. And that cap is going to come off. And let's see what we find here. And that is, that's what we got there. So, in order to get that out, I'm going to take and we'll fish out this O-ring. Okay, now this old O-ring is a little bit smashed up. So, there we go. You see that's like a little bit square now. And then that's kind of stuck in there a little bit. Hmm, it's really stuck. So Go ahead and take something somewhat a little bit more pointy out of my bag here. And there's all that goo in there. So let's see here. I'm just trying to get it to turn a little bit. The next thing we're going to do is we'll take this off and, and that is really that's what we've got here. Okay, so now, okay, so that didn't really work. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to take a Allen wrench here and I'm going to use that Allen wrench to shove that thing out, which is going to be more effective, just like that, okay? And then as you can see, look how clogged up that thing is. It looks like an old penny. 
So that's the reason the water wasn't flowing. So to fix this issue, we're gonna put everything back in the reverse order. Let me drop that guy on the floor and then put it in place like so. And then the next thing we're gonna do is Actually, I guess this has a little quick connect. I usually hate those quick connects, but that makes life a little easier. So then we're going to take this guy and turn him back together here. And we'll just make sure we get good and tight. Okay? You know what good and tight is? It's a German torque. Good and tight. So now that's back in there. Um... We will need a little bit of pipe tape because we disturbed that connection. So for pipe tape, we're gonna put, we're gonna pretend like we're tightening it and we're gonna screw it on in that manner. So we're just pretending like that. So we'll put a couple rounds of pipe tape on it. And then this is gonna go back in here where it started. this a couple turns. Okay, till can't turn anymore. Now, so that's all put back together. Um, we're gonna go ahead and reattach this right here. filters about three years old time to replace it um, so we're gonna take this quick connect put it back on there all right so now for our leak check we're gonna open that back up and make sure that nothing's leaking here What I'm expecting is I push this button, the water's just going to come out. Okay. All right. So as you can see, the um, repair was simply a clogged filter, and we were able to utilize our gauge in order to help us understand where the problem was. So when you're working on dental equipment, you want to use all of the different gauges and different parts to kind of tell you what's happening with the system. So hopefully this was a little bit helpful. This was a real um, troubleshooting and repair process that I demonstrated here. And um, uh, hopefully this is uh, gonna help you be a little more effective as you try to keep your dental equipment fixed. Again, this is Jason from the Dental Equipment Repair Channel. Thanks for uh, joining me.